listen, as soon as things open back up again, I will be happy to go back on tour. We'll be back in D.C. We'll be in Chicago. I, Atlanta, I know it's going to be rocking. So I can't wait. In fact, I might just slide through Atlanta, like, anyways. So just, I'll let y'all know. I'll let all my people in Atlanta know. I might just slide through anyways because I got some folks up there who want to see me. So we may just pop in. Barbara, Barbara Wells says we've got a supplier event coming up later this month. I need to get with the Department of Justice. Good stuff. Rafa. Tasha. What's up, Tasha? Tasha, we just launched our coaching program. Brandon, someone's asking about where to find Maria's video. Can you drop that in the chat? Suppliers issue. <laughs> listen, y'all better be look, y'all listen. Yeah. Look, I'm telling you, don't do it. You got a lot of people on here. Tracy, what's up? Rafa, let's go live. Am I going to – listen, I'm in Connecticut every other month. I was in Connecticut Saturday. I'm in I, – listen, so my contracts are in the New England area. All of my work – so I'm in Rhode Island. I'm in Connecticut. I'm in Massachusetts. I'm in New Hampshire. And I'm up in Maine. So I'm there all the time anyways, trucking with us for life, like all the time. In fact – I'm in Connecticut. I work um, over at in Grot at New London at the sub base. I have the IDIQ for the entire sub base. It's I have the construction IDIQ for sub base in Connecticut, and I have the same thing over at Newport, Rhode Island. So I'm in Connecticut all the time, like like all the time. I flew in Friday, had a meeting Saturday, and flew back out Sunday. I was back here in Florida. All right, Atlanta. See, Sergio said he used to bring his lights from China, but now it's much better to get it from California. Good job, Johnny, working on a second quote. Good stuff. What's up, Jennifer? Sergio, Sergio, you know who you need to talk to? David Stocks. Send, send, send Maria an email. In fact, send us an email. And matter of fact, it's not even Maria's email anymore. If you send an email to service at GovCon Giants, somebody drop that email in the chat. Um, send it over to there, and let me connect you with a guy, David Stocks, who was at the event, Sergio, that you were at. David Stocks works for a huge GC. Uh, let me connect you guys together. Um, the kind of contracts I have is all my contracts are construction. Why don't I work in Florida? Because, well, Maria works in Florida, so we have people here working in Florida. I don't work in Florida because... I need a big partner. Like the stuff that I go after is really big. So I don't have a big partner in Florida. Uh, well, let me take that back. I did not previously have one. Today, we do have an operations now in West Palm Beach that we just set up. So we're going to start going after Florida opportunities. But I, really, I go after opportunities where I have large partners that I can work with. So that's just me. That's my strategic approach. I actually don't like construction personally anymore i don't like being in the field i don't like really being with the guys i like being more behind the scenes and putting the deals together but again i want to go after really big deals so for me i partner with companies that i can trust that can get everything done and so just it just kind of worked out that way where one of my really strong partners happens to be in the northeast so we just went after stuff in the northeast and we just like grabbed everything down plus Real talk, the Northeast was wide open. Like, there was nobody there. So I'll give you guys an example. When we went to Rhode Island, there were eight. You can see all my fingers. There were eight, eight, eight companies in the entire state of Rhode Island. Eight. And then there was three in construction. So where would you spend your time? In a state like Florida where there's 200? Or a state like Rhode Island where there's eight? And if you look at construction, there's three. And if you look at who actually does the kind of work we do, there was two. And if you look at, so, I mean, 
it just made sense for me, right? And then when I did pull up and did my market research, they were they had spent like four hundred million dollars, and so it's a small state. They don't, you know, but even though Rhode Island's a small state, they have like Nikki was saying, Newport Naval bases there, Groton sub bases down the street, and all these markets were completely untapped. Like nobody was doing it. Sheena, put your question mark self down. <laughs> but no, seriously, like I literally walked on to these places and these markets are wide open. Like right now, Maine is wide open. Massachusetts, boom. I got my first sole source came out of Hanscom Air Force Base up in Mass. Like my first contract for the client that we want came out of Lowell, Mass. So it was, I mean, it just, it made sense. I don't, I, listen, guys, we're doing business. Like, y'all, what y'all think? I just flip a coin and pick where I'm going to show? I'm strategic. So you guys should be strategic. We're not bound. We're not, I always tell people, you're not a tree. You can, you can move, right? So we're not bound or confined to our geographical area. You could go anywhere and do this stuff. It's, that's why I like federal, because it's the same process. Like, you got Army Corps, you got Army Corps. You got NAFAC, you have NAFAC. So, like, I mean... Again, Mev, that's Mev, the intern. He was up there. I brought him into a meeting. He saw how we get down. Like, Kim, who was on earlier, Kim came to a meeting. She saw how we get down. Oh, Maria's telling me I got five minutes because the debate's coming on tonight, and I'm going to watch the debate. So what else do you have? I love everybody out here. All right, let me look at this question. What's an, e what's an easy industry to focus on in the beginning? easy industry to focus on in the beginning would be an industry that you knew well. So I always tell people start off with an industry and uh, like, again, if you say focus, right, because you're saying easy, um, an industry that you know, well, that's easy. Now I personally don't recommend easy, but if you want easy, then I would say whatever your strengths are at, whatever, you know, whatever industry you're good at, that you have contacts and resources, you know suppliers, you know subcontractors, you know whatever industry that you know the vendors, that's the one that I would start off with. Because guess what? It's so easy for you to pick up the phone and call those people because they already know you. Like, hey, this is Jackie. Remember me? I used to work with such and such company. Like, like my boy got fired from Tiger Direct, but he knew all the suppliers who brought all of this computer electronics equipment. He knew them on a first name basis because he was a rep for Supplier Direct. So I would start off with an industry that I was already involved in and I had connections in. And then that way, regardless of the size of the opportunity, you could bring somebody to the forefront to help you do it. Hope that helps answer that question. I'm having a hard time locating heavy equipment rental contracts. So heavy equipment rental contracts. Now, let me tell you something about that. And I'm going to go ahead and plug somebody real quick. So our girl, Gov Leah, right she she focuses on state she focuses on love uh local contracts one of the things that you could do and i talked to her about one thing that you could talk to her about is connecting with prime contractors that are supposed to be meeting their goals at the state and local levels so if you're talking about heavy equipment rental that's one of the areas that when my guys were looking at local goals it's very easy for a big time prime contractor to really help you bring you in through a, an equipment rental contract. Because why? Because you are not going to mess up their project. They were going to rent that equipment from somebody anyways. There you go, Shakia. They were going to rent that equipment from somebody anyways. So why not rent it from you, meet their small business requirements or whatever, CBE, SBE, CSBE. They're going to have to meet those requirements anyways. So why not allow them to meet it through rental equipment? And so we did that very successfully here in Miami. My boys actually, when they were building the tunnel, right? My boys had the equipment that came. I mean, all we did was set up an account with United Rentals and what's the green company name? Sunbelt. We got national accounts with them. We went back and said, hey, you're supposed to hit whatever, 5%, 10% goals. We're going to provide the rental equipment, right? And it, you have to rent the equipment anyways. So you're just renting it through us. We're like a pass-through, but it's the equipment that you have to have on the job anyways. 
And guess what? I'm not going to interfere your project. I'm not going to delay it. I can't mess it up. So people are very comfortable giving you those kind of contracts to meet their goals because you're not going to slow down the project. So hope that helps. All right. What else? Herc. Herc is another one. Herc Reynolds. I used to have Herc. So what else? See there? Look, I just plugged all my people in one interview today. What else? What else? What else? What else? All right. Well, no, no worries. Yeah, no. I mean, look, I fortunately <laughs> for you guys, I bumped my head enough. So by me bumping my head, I was able to learn a couple of things when I got dropped on my head by some of these big guys. Maria is the teacher, and she's saying our time is up. So I will see you guys, you know, keep checking out the content, keep following, keep liking, keep sharing. I promise you we have a lot of good stuff coming down the pipe. I'm putting a lot of money back into this. So again, I'm spending a lot to invest and in building up the platform, building up everything organization. And so it's real. I mean, it's only going to get better. Hey, GovCon family, visit GovConEDU.com for course information. Find out how you can get enrolled right now for one price, annual subscription for all of our dozen plus courses and offerings. Visit the website GovConEDU.com.